and Rob from dissecting a rat together to today. I'm so lucky to have been able to spend the last decade with you by my side making so many memories and hitting so many milestones together. You've helped me learn how to love and appreciate myself and I can't be more thankful or grateful to have you in my life. You are my best friend, my greatest confidant, my soulmate, the person I know I will spend the rest of my life with. I am so excited to embark on the next journey with you and can't wait to make more memories together for the rest of our lives. I love you so much. Can't wait to see how handsome you look. See you soon. Love always. Okay. Hey, GR here. It is absolutely surreal that this day is finally here. I can't wait to see you in that dress. I love you and those big brown eyes beautiful curly hair, perfect smile, and your infectious laugh. The rest of our lives are ahead of us. Thick and thin, sickness and health. I will always be the one who wants to grow old with you. Love you to the moon and back and back again. Rob. Oh, it looks great. You yeah. look great. You look great. You look so good. You crying? A little bit. <laughs> you love you. I love you so much. <laughs> you look so good. You too. Yes. Is <laughs> it clapping? No, someone's running away. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Family and friends, it is my highest honor to welcome you to the union of Gabrielle Cuviello and Robert Syme. Rob and Gabby's story began with chance encounters and lasting impressions that gradually wove the fabric of their connection. They both attended the same school district in Lynnhurst, New Jersey, but it wasn't until their junior year of high school when coincidental circumstances would have a profound impact on their lives. It was the night of their junior prom, and both had attended with different dates. Would you believe it? <laughs> Once the evening at the venue concluded, all students were invited to a school-sponsored night out in New York City. Both Rob and Gabby's dates couldn't go, leaving them alone. <laughs> Rob dressed sharply in his sleek black tuxedo and teal tie, <laughs> caught Gabby's eye. And he offered not a dance, but an entire night of shared laughter and conversation as they roamed the luminous streets of Times Square that fateful Friday evening. Each moment of their first date was etched with the promise of a future filled with shared moments and cherished connection. Gabrielle, I give you this ring. Gabrielle, I give you this ring. As a reminder that I will. As a reminder that I will. Forever love and honor you. Forever love and honor you. Please wear it as a daily sign. Please wear it as a daily sign. Of my commitment to you. Of my commitment to you. Robert, I give you this ring. Robert, I give you this ring. As a reminder that I will. As a reminder that I will. Forever love and honor you. Forever love and honor you. Please wear it as a daily sign. Please wear it as a daily sign. Of my commitment to you. Of my commitment to you.
in witness of your love and commitment by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand with me now. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Syme. First and foremost, I want to extend my congratulations to the newlyweds. Gab, you make the most beautiful bride, and it has been nothing short of an honor standing beside you today, and I'm so happy for both of you. Gabby and I met in the hallway of Linares High School 13 years ago when a friend insisted she go to prom with our friend CJ. Little did I know that this chance encounter would lead <laughs> to someone I regularly refer to as my sister. It's a special bond and privilege to get to grow up with someone and to see each other in every season of life and still be next to each other throughout it. Gabby, you are kind, thoughtful, and loving. Rob, you are funny, supportive, and caring. And together, you are some of the best people I know. I'm so happy for you both and wish you a lifetime of happiness and endless mimosas. So everyone, please let's raise our glasses to the bride and groom. Cheers. Hey everybody, I'm uh, Anthony, the best man and also brother of the bride. I've known uh, Rob since high school, uh, Gabby for a bit longer than that. <laughs> and I think he's a very funny person, very charming guy. Uh, he comes over, <laughs> hangs out with the pets, and <laughs> they, they like him better than me and Gabby, so it's always another good sign. The main thing is just, uh, Rob's like a brother to me, I, I love him a lot and I'm very happy. For both of them, so. I do think that we should raise a toast for them because that's what I'm supposed to say, but also um, uh, they deserve it. So uh, for you guys, um, Gabby and Rob, I hope you have a loving relationship for as long as time goes on or whatever they say. Thank you so much.